Let me take you to a world that I've seen Through my best invention, the iconic screen Their friends and animals, the iconic holes So come along with me and I'll tell you Hi there. I've been having some trouble with my Iconis screen. It's been switching itself off when it should be on. There's a problem with one of the parts in the polar modulizer, the module polarizer. Um, this box thingy. <laughs> Luckily, I've got this special instrument to fix it. It shows green when everything's okay, and amber when something's wrong. Time to see what's going on. Here we are. OK. There's the problem. Time to fix it. Green is good. Looks like it fixed the problem. There we are. If you want something to work properly, you need to look after it. Slide this in there. With a wave on my hand, let's explore Wonderful lands never seen before The iconic screen, my most amazing machine The iconic screen Wild wilderness surround the garden branch Down on the farm by the water's edge Guess which iconical is coming to play Can you guess which world will be? Seems to be okay. Now, who should I choose to test the power of the Iconis screen? Rump, his charge should test out the power of the Iconis screen perfectly. Oh, ho, ho, ho. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, Rumpel, am I glad to see you. Aren't you always? Of course, but this time I'm especially glad because it means my iconic screen's working at full power again. See? Oh, look. Hmm. Where's she off to? Let's have a look, shall we? <sighs> well done, Miss Moo. One last leaf in the pile, and my field is finally tidy. Elvis will be pleased. Miss Moore! Miss Moore, we have a big problem. Hmm. Don't worry, Elvis. Miss Moo has just finished collecting up all the slippery leaves. It's quite safe for you to walk on now. No! The leaves aren't the problem, Miss Moore. There's a big muddy puddle in your field. And? And one of the smaller animals could fall into it at any moment. If they do, they'll get very muddy and wet and they might get stuck. Don't worry, Elvis. Miss Moo will work out what to do. Coming up with a plan to solve problems like this is a particular skill of mine. Puddles, puddles, puddles. There must be an answer to this puddle problem. Think, Miss Moo. Think. I think 
We should sing a song. A song? What has that got to do with puddles? Well, when I was little, I made up a puddle problem song. So I could remember not to step into muddy puddles. I thought we could teach it to everyone, and then... <laughs> you are funny, Elvis. I don't think a song is the best way of fixing this problem. Let's think. But I have thought. Listen. <gasps> beware, beware. There's a puddle over there. <laughs> oh. Yes, I think I have a plan which might fix this problem. What? Slippery leaves. <gasps> Where? Where? Hurry, Elvis. I'll need your help. Hmm, quack a lack a do. Huh. Hello there, you gorgeous ducky. You are looking very, very handsome today. <sighs> oh. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Perfection. Hmm. Look out, Dapper! Oh, uh -huh. oh! Hey! What's the big idea? The big idea, Dapper, is to stop anybody falling into that big muddy puddle. My song would do it. Beware, beware, there's a puddle over there. Beware, beware, there's a puddle over there. Please! Puddles like this one need solutions, not songs. And this is one of my better solutions, if I do say so myself. Ah. Uh. Miss Moore. Ah, there is more than one way to fix a problem, Elvis. We just need to find out what it is. So, what do you think of Miss Moo's plan? Well, leaves might support a small, light creature like Dapper, but a bigger, heavier animal like me would sink straight through. Hmm. Might not be the best plan Miss Moo's ever had. Unlike my brilliant repair job on the Iconis screen. Oh dear. Oh no! The screen's not fixed after all. Try that again. Oh, careful where you put your hooves, Rumpel. Sorry, Nat. Plug this up. Here we go. Oh, no! Amber! Oh, I know what that means. Do you? I think I can get the screen working again, just not at its full power. Which means... You can't go back to the wild wilderness just yet, Rumpel. What? <clears throat> oh. It'll be fun if you stick around for a little longer than normal. What do you think? <laughs> Are you okay, Rumpel? You seem a bit... I don't know... fidgety. I've got an itch, and it really needs to be scratched. Oh, I've got the perfect invention for that. Ta-da! That special super turbo high-tech back scratcher. No harm in giving it a try, I suppose. All right, then. Ready, set... No, oh, I don't like the sound of that at all, Matt. My own scratching post doesn't make such a terrible noise. That's what I really need to fix this itch. But hey, we can play games and things here. I can even fix you up a place to sleep if... Thanks, but no thanks, Nat. I need my scratching post, and that's not here. I really have to get home. Don't worry. I will fix it. Now, let's see how much power we have first. Slide that in there. Right, Rumpel. Let's test it out by seeing how things are doing down on the farm. Miss 
Osmo. Standing around the puddle to keep everyone away is a good plan. But I can't stand here all day. I'm a busy duck. Well, I am not moving. Nobody will fall into this puddle while I'm on guard. Look out, Gate! Here I come! <gasps> Nice moves, Elvis. Haven't you got a song to go with those? Beware, beware. Oh! What was that? That, my friends, is my latest plan to solve the puddle problem. A loud warning moo to stop anybody from coming near it. I quite like the song myself. Come on, let's hear you all moo. Quack moo. <laughs> moo. <laughs> moo. Not bad. All right, everyone. Into position. Elvis, face this way, please. Face the other way, Dapper. Sorry. Let's leapfrog you. Oh, and you! Oh, and you too! Bryn faced the field like Elvis to spot anybody trying to leap over the gate. Will do! Now, if anybody approaches, alert me with a moo, just like we practised. <laughs> moo! <laughs> Well done, everyone. That was... <gasps> Moo! Stop! <laughs> oh. Wally Wobblers, why did you do that, Elvis? To stop you falling in the big muddy puddle. They are a big problem around here today. <laughs> you wouldn't catch me jumping in one. Beware, beware, there's a puddle over there. Beware, beware, there's a puddle over there. Hmm. And since when did puddles become a problem? Puddles are fun. <laughs> cool song, eh, Rumpel? Mm, yes. Reminds me of the songs we sing in the wilderness. Hmm. My friends are probably singing one right now. Oh dear, are you missing them? Mm. I'm going to have another try at fixing the module so you can get back home. Oh, hey, look, that might be it, Rumpel. Rumpel? Mm. 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 Sorry, Nat. Did you say something? Oh dear, are you itchy again? Mm. What would you do if you were back in the wild wilderness? I'd probably find a prickle tickle bush. They are lovely and scratchy. I haven't got a prickle tickle bush, but I have got this. A pineapple. No, it's not really prickly tickly enough. Mm. When did you say I could go back to the wild wilderness? Sorry, Rumpel. I can't get you back to your scratching post right now. Maybe we should try and take your mind off your itch. Mm. All right. Let's pay another visit to the farm to see if they've solved their puddle problem. Puddles aren't just fun. They're brilliant fun. Have you never played Puddle Hunt Hop? Puddle Hunt Hop? Oh, oh, oh! Sounds like fun! It is, Bryn. Great fun. Oh, Curly, how do you play it? Oh, I know! I know! I think Puddle Hunt Hop is really just a race. You use the puddles as stepping stones. See? Easy peasy! <laughs> it looks messy. But that's the point, Elvis. And if you can't find a puddle to hop to, you have to stop. The one who hops furthest wins. 
Why don't you both start together? There seem to be enough puddles to go around. Ready? Steady? Puddle hunt pop! <laughs> hooray! Hooray! It's a perfect morning! Puddle hopping, you two! Feather my duster, what's all this noise keeping me awake all day? Look at me, Jasmine! I'm puddle hopping! Puddle hopping? Why didn't you say so? Puddles are definitely worth being woken up for. Ooh. Elvis, are you not playing? Oh, uh, no. Puddle hunt hop is not the game for me. You don't know what you're missing. Once I puddle hop, I just can't stop. Brim, Dapper, wait for me! Oh! Follow me! Oh! oh. 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 <laughs> Here we are. What would you like me to do? Nothing that you don't want to. Uh, Miss Moo, would you like to join me in a game of Puddle Jump Splash? I'd be delighted to, Curly. Puddle, jump, splash? You simply jump in a puddle to see who can make the biggest splash. But, but, why? Because it's fun. Elvis, Curly was right. You and I were both trying to find solutions to a problem that isn't a problem. <laughs> hooray! Hooray! It's a perfect puddle day! Puddle hunt, popping, puddle jumps, splashing, splashing all the way! It's a perfect puddle day! Hooray! Hooray! It's a perfect puddle day! Puddle hunt, popping, puddle jump, splashing! Splashing all the way, it's a perfect puddle day. Come on in, Elvis. The puddles are great. Oh. Oh, why not? <laughs> hooray, hooray, it's a perfect puddle day. Puddle hunt, hopping, puddle jump, splash, dig, splashing all the way. It's a perfect puddle day. <laughs> hooray, hooray, it's a perfect puddle day. Puddle hunt, hop, wink, puddle jump, splashing, splashing on the way. It's a perfect puddle day. <laughs> you see, Rumple, there's always more than one way of doing things. I suppose. Definitely. Now, let's see about that broken modupola, what's it? <laughs> this time, I'm definitely going to fix it. I've just got a feeling. I've got a feeling too. And it's not a good one. Oh, Rumpel, not again. You've got to let me help you. All right, Nat. But it won't work. We'll see about that. Now we'll try the hairbrush treatment. Oh, yes. That hairbrush is really doing the trick. <laughs> Hold on. What's this? Have you been sitting on this all the time? Um, well, that is where I was sitting. What is it? I think it has been causing your itch. And it's what I've been looking for. The missing part from the Iconoscreen Polar Modulizer. Ah! So, does that mean...? Yes, I can fix the Iconoscreen. And you can go back to the wild wilderness any time you like. <laughs> Come on, Rumpel. Let's get it plugged in. There. All done. Now, we'll just make sure it's working properly. Yes! We 
have liftoff. It's working again, Rumpel. Great. That's the game's alarm. Have you got time for a quick game of who, what, when, where, why, Rumpel? Well, now my itch is gone, I'd love a game before I go. The clock's already ticking. Ah, OK. Question one. Why did Dapper fall into the puddle? Hmm, but I don't think Dapper did fall into the puddle, Nat. Hmm, what do you think? Is Rumpel right? Let's see. Uh -huh. uh, perfection. Hmm. Look out, Dapper! <laughs> oh, uh, oh, hey, what's the big idea? Very good, Rumpel. Did you get that right too? Question two. Ah, who came up with the best answer to the puddle muddle down on the farm today? Hmm. Who do you think it was? Miss Moo? Um... Uh, Miss Moo thought she knew the answer to the problem. But if she had only listened to Elvis, she would have realised his idea to solve the problem was the best. Hmm. The Rumpel thinks it was Elvis. Do you think it was Elvis too? The big idea, Dapper, is to stop anybody falling into that big muddy puddle. My song would do it. Beware, beware, there's a puddle over there. Yay, it was Elvis. Well done, Rumple. And now you can go back to the wild wilderness a champion. Great. But all I really want to do is use my scratching post. Oh, hold on. There's no need now. You fixed my itch. That's right. And if you'd let me help you earlier, you might have had more fun while you were here. <laughs> but not to worry. We'll make up for it next time. Sorry, Nat. Now, I expect you want to get back to your friends, right? Yes, please. I'd also like to have a long mud bath. Always a treat after a good scratch. And that was a good scratch. Thank you, Nat. No problem, Rumple. A pleasure. Bye, Nat. Bye, Rumple. <laughs> Bye, Rumple. Bye. I wish I could fix it for me to go back to the wild wilderness with Rumpel too. Oh well, one day maybe. I'll see you next time. Bye! Bye.